Hello there. This video is to officially welcome you to Smarty and to help your experience getting started go smoothly. First, if you have a question and you're not sure whom to contact, you can't go wrong with contacting the Smarty customer success team. The CS team is your partner from the inside of Smarty. Their job is to help you find solutions and to advocate on your behalf. Think of them as Chewbacca to your Han Solo, but with slightly more back hair. They're dedicated to getting you the personalized attention you need, and if they aren't the best people for your specific need, they'll connect you to the ones that are. The customer success team will also be the ones reaching out to you about any future Smarty offerings that they think might help your business specifically, as well as periodic check-ins to make sure everything is running correctly. If you need demoing, purchasing, or to learn more about a Smarty product, you can go directly to our sales team. They're fast, friendly, and they've all learned to mask their thick Midwestern accents flawlessly. Or something like it. To get a hold of a sales team member, all you need to do is go to smarty.com, contact, contact sales, and then fill out the form. If forms aren't your thing, you can always call the sales number listed here. Or if you've worked with one of our salespeople before, feel free to email that salesperson directly. Our hours of operation are eight to five, Monday through Friday, Mountain Time. If you want to contact them outside of that time, we'd recommend you use the form or visit them at their house. Now, you might be saying, what if I'm having a technical issue and I need to talk to one of the greatest customer support representatives the world has ever known? Wow, what a specific request. Good news, we can provide people like that. Our customer support reps are the best at providing technical support, product support, emotional support, and back support. <clears throat> Our support team is super easy to get a hold of. Go to smarty.com, contact, contact support. You'll see there are lots of ways to contact our support team. Email, chat, or calling in. You'll always get a real human provided that you call during our normal hours of operation. If you happen to contact them outside of that time, they'll get back to you as soon as they can. Maybe you're more of a DIYer. Feel free to use our resource documents by going to smarty.com and then resources. We recommend reading through our Cloud API documentation for more information on common questions about using Smarty. Our do not read this page, which you should totally read, is chock full of best practices for optimal setup and maximum speed. Now that you know whom to contact, let's give you a tour of your dashboard. Your account dashboard is going to be your go-to place to manage your Smarty subscriptions, edit payment information, and find your API keys. You'll be brought to your dashboard automatically when you log in. If you've logged in previously, just click the Account button. The Account Dashboard, complete with all the tools and documentation you'll need to be successful with Smarty. In the Subscriptions tab, you'll see all your current and expired licenses. You can view the usage details and license value for each license, Manage auto renew settings for current active licenses, resubscribe to any expired licenses, or add new subscriptions. With an active credit card on file, you'll be able to enable auto renew, which will ensure that you get an automatic refill if all your lookups are used up or if your subscription expires. In the profile tab, you can change your email and password, change the primary contact information, and add additional contacts. Additional contacts is where you add contact information for those that need to receive crucial and helpful communications regarding your Smarty account. This could include your corporation's project manager, lead developer, accounting team, or mother dearest. She just worries so much. The billing tab is where you can add credit cards and update your sales tax information. You can manage your authentication credentials under the API keys tab. We've got your website keys where you can assign the host, and we've got your secret keys for the back end comprising of your Auth ID and Auth token. Each new account will have a single website key and secret keys generated automatically. The last thing you need to know about is the system status page. The fastest way to get to this page is by going to status.smarty.com. Or you can scroll to the bottom of any page on Smarty's website and click system status. This page shows any downtime incidents or issues that Smarty has ever experienced. If you feel you're experiencing a hiccup in service, it's not a bad idea to check this page and see if it's been documented. You can scroll through and see the status of all our APIs, latency data, historical uptime info, and past incidents. 
What's really important is what's at the top of the page. This button that says subscribe to updates. We recommend that whoever is leading your Smarty related project subscribes to these updates so they can be automatically alerted to any downtime incidents. For the record, we average 99.9% .9 uptime. <laughs> and so concludes the introductory journey through your Smarty account dashboard. If you have any further questions about your account or you want to learn more about the Tools tab in your account dashboard, feel free to reach out to the customer success team. Thanks again for choosing Smarty. Toodles.